I'm slightly terrified to be here. This brings back so many memories. I'm not exactly sure how to talk about it. I don't come here without my gun. So this is um, what I would call a haunted house. Definitely a haunted house. When Michelle and I first got married, we didn't have much money, and so we lived here for about a year. There's our old mattress. We didn't get around to redoing the floor. You know, the roof started leaking a little bit, and so we had to had to do lots of repairs just to just to be able to survive. But things started happening. We were here for six months and everything was fine, but then we started hearing noises. Just random noises about once a week or so. I would get home from work and Michelle would say, well I heard it again today. And I would, I would ask where? Where was it this time? And she would say, over in, in the back corner of the house. And so I, she said, I would just hide under the, the blanket there on the bed and pray that nothing would happen. It, it made me afraid to go to work. Michelle was terrified, but we didn't have much money and so we didn't have much, much choice. You know, and where we, where we lived, we had a, a roof over our head. We were, we were scared. We were scared of the noises we were hearing. So I was really scared um, living in this house. And um, I like begged Adam not to go to work each day because I was scared um, to be there by myself. I didn't know um, if something was gonna happen, when it was gonna happen. Um, so I, I really, um, I was really, I mean, terrified. And then one day, uh, Michelle told me that she saw something. She didn't know exactly what it was, but it was huge. This huge animal-like thing just came stomping down through the woods. We didn't have a camera, so she, she just hid under the blanket on the bed. hard to talk about. I feel like I have to keep looking behind me. I feel like somebody's looking at me. I just get those, I get those like chills down my spine just being here. So Michelle was like, we've got, we've got to move. We, I can't live here anymore. I can't live in this house. And so we started, we started searching for somewhere else to live. And uh, luckily her uncle had a house in town that we moved to. And uh, it was a nice house, really nice. It was uh, nicer than this for sure. And then a week later we, we came back because we, we left some of our belongings at this house. And we came back to this. Whatever it was, tore this whole porch off of the house. I mean, look at that. Look at the destruction. Digging at the ground. Tore the, the floor out. I mean, just knocked the whole porch off of the house. I don't know what did something like this. 
something powerful and big. Who knows what's in these woods, but after seeing that, I'm afraid to be back here alone. That's why I bring protection. do um, and so um, yeah and I would I would go uh, for walks sometimes and I um, like just to get out of the house because I was always scared of being in the house thinking that something was gonna happen but when I go for a walk I thought like I, I can get away from the house I'll be in nature and you know and it will be okay and it was just like this weird feeling every time I would go for a walk like something was following me every time it never it never went away and um, I remember this one time that I was walking down the road and um, like I mean just hair standing up on the back of my neck like you know that feeling that something's watching you something's behind you and it was so intense this one time that I just knew like something was right behind me and I just started running to get away from it. place wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for those noises. Now I decided about a year later after we moved out to come and just sit back here a couple afternoons. Just sit almost like I was deer hunting but um, I wanted to see this creature if it was indeed a creature that did this to our house and made those noises and ran, basically ran us away from home I wanted to I wanted to see this guy I wanted to look him in the eye him I wasn't afraid, even though deep down I was really afraid. But it never happened. I never saw him. And things have been quiet ever since. We haven't seen or heard anything else since, since that time. But I'm still afraid to be back here. Michelle used to tell me that she would go for walks down the road and it was always as if something was following her she just had that feeling like something was following her closely behind just watching her seeing where she was going what she was doing it forced her to stay inside she never came out she just stayed inside and when she was scared she just hid under the blanket on the bed Anyway, I'm glad we're not living here anymore. I'm afraid our kids would be terrified. Dark, like right here. Uh, turn around and stop for a minute. Okay. Look, terrified, you know, <laughs> and then kind of walk like this, and then, and then, you know, just kind of look back and then take off running. I don't have to do this again, though, the yeah. exact same way. Not really. For the drone. All right, back up a little bit. Okay. Back up a little more. I can't do it with them laughing. All right, everybody, oh, turn around that way. Okay, don't look at me, and you can watch it on the video later. Okay. Okay, whenever you're ready. No, turn around. Look Let's that way. see it on the video, buddy. Look that way. I can't do it if y'all are looking at me. I promise. 
So. Go. Again. Again, because you're looking at me. I'm not looking at you. 